Hi everyone, I decided to do a video today to describe to everybody why I cut my hair into a pixie in the first place, um, why I'm going to begin to grow it out, and how I'm going to do that. Uh, sorry if I upset anyone, I know everyone's really excited when I cut it, and I do really like it, um, but again there are reasons why I want to grow it out. And to start, I very first cut my hair because when it was really long, it was about down to here, I began to like it too much. I don't know if that sounds really strange, but I became too, um, I guess, obsessed with it, and that's when I like to change things because it's not good to have that much of a grip on any material thing. So I thought the only way to break that was to cut it and be okay with having short hair. Um, I think that a lot of girls and women are under the um, perception that only long hair is pretty. And that's another thing that I went through with cutting it that um, Every hairstyle is beautiful. It doesn't really matter what your hair looks like. Um, there's other things that make you beautiful. Um, definitely your confidence, um, your attitude, things like that. Um, so those are things I was struggling with before I cut it. And again, I cut it so that I could do away with all of the things I was holding on to um, through my hair. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and now that it's short i have decided to grow it out again because i want to do it the healthy way i have always read um, reviews and blogs and um, all different kinds of articles about uh, a no shampoo method um, and i've been really intrigued but never taken the step to do that so now that my hair is short, I feel like I finally have the chance to start fresh and um, none of my hair is damaged. So it's all very new hair and if this method's ever going to work, it's going to work now. So I'm really excited to try it. Uh, the no shampoo method is really about letting your hair get back to its natural state and using the natural oils of your hair um, to make it smooth and not letting commercialized products take all of the oils out of your hair. It strips your hair of those things and it makes it dry and brittle and just not good. So again, I have very thick wavy hair. So when I use products, I'm trying to put moisture back into my hair and it's really just a bad cycle because shampooing your hair with commercial products strips your hair and then you put more product on it to make it uh, moisturized again and that you know that's also going to cause you to have to wash it again it's just a bad cycle of uh, stripping your hair and putting more chemicals on it to mask what the damage really is so again I want to get back to my true natural hair uh, I'm not going to dye it I'm not going to use uh, regular shampoo, although I am going to wash it in a different way. And um, I'm not going to use heat products. I'm not going to straighten it. Um, just things like that. And try and just get back to nice, long, natural hair. So, in order to do that, I have been reading, again, like I said, these blogs and articles, and a lot of them are very consistent and it's all over the map. So there's no one person I am um, following their method. I've taken different bits and pieces from different people. Um, so first, in order to get my hair back to um, a base starting uh, state, I have used a clarifying shampoo. And a clarifying shampoo is just going to get rid of all of the um, the silicones that are in other products and it's just really going to get your hair super clean to start with. So the clarifying shampoo that I used is Suave Naturals 
it's very cheap like you can see I've been using it <laughs> um, I really like it it has a good smell it's about a dollar fifty for this 22.5 ounce bottle so I wash my hair with this and then I rinsed it with cold water and to do rinse with cold water um, is important because it closes the cuticle of your hair it's really not something I enjoy because who wants to take a nice warm shower and then end it with some cold water but I just kind of stand like this with my head out to the side and let the cold drip on my hair and not my body because I am a wimp when it comes to cold so anyway um, I shampooed it it's just wet I don't have any product in it and this is the first time I have not put product in my hair especially since it's been short typically I use mousse um, I've tried all different types of mousse but right now I'm using this John Frieda um, Frizzies styling mousse and this has silicone in it so it's going to give you a nice look for the short run but in the long run it really damages your hair so i'm not going to be using this anymore i'm just showing you what not to do um, and when my hair dries i'm actually going to try and use a coconut oil uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about the coconut oil in your hair. I've never done it before with it being short, um, but my hair is most likely going to get really frizzy and fluffy because of its texture. So when once it dries, I'm going to try and put in some coconut oil um, because I don't want to put anything with silicone in it, and I'm going to try and do this very naturally. I don't want to use these commercialized products. I want to just get back to the root of my hair so that's going to be my new method and after you clarify use a clarifying shampoo in your hair you are going to want to do two things and this is what I'm going to start doing and documenting so I'm just letting you all know um, the first thing is washing your hair with baking soda um, you need to make a mixture of one tablespoon of baking soda to one cup of water. Um, you can you know, make this in a large quantity at once and keep it in your shower with like a squirt bottle or something like that. Again, I haven't done it yet, so I will document that when I do. But just use regular baking soda. This is just Kroger brand. Um, and you're going to only want to put this on your roots. Now, it might be kind of hard for me because I don't have that much hair, so I'm going to do the best I can to just really get it in my roots and just massage it around. Now, this is not going to lather, so that's probably going to be the weirdest thing about the no-poo method is not having that sudsy, oh, I'm clean feeling, um, but I'm just going to have to break my mental uh, block of that um, that equaling clean because baking soda does clean it just doesn't lather so yes yeah, start with the baking soda and then when you're in the shower you're gonna want to get a spray bottle of a apple cider vinegar mixture um, this is gonna be two tablespoons per one cup and you can make like I said as much I at once that you want um, put it in a spray bottle and after you rinse out your baking soda spray this in your hair and then rinse it out preferably with cold water like I said before so once you start doing this you should only have to do it one to three times a week um, the goal is to you know do this as little as possible because the natural oils in your hair again are going to distribute and make your hair softer and less damaged so that's the method I'm going to start doing and I also want to document that my hair was cut three weeks ago so this is three weeks worth of growth it was a lot shorter before um, but we'll see where we are in a little bit I'll come back and let you know how my baking soda and vinegar process worked for me and if I have any other tips uh, stay tuned thanks for watching